Hi, this is a demo of the Umbrella integration with vManage or the Viptola uh, vEdge uh, solution here. So you can see here's a diagram in uh, my buddy Zach's Cisco lab here. So this is a vManage network managing uh, vEdge device and the vEdge device has an IPsec tunnel terminating within Umbrella Data Center and is terminating a, in a cloud deliver firewall for firewall inspection and then web traffic on 80 and 443 gets forwarded over to the secure web gateway and then it goes out to the internet here. And then uh, the configuration on the vManage side uh, it can be done if you follow the documentation here. Okay, so here's the link. But I'll show you in an example here. So within my network here. This is the vManage network and um, our uh, network here. You can see here from monitoring perspective uh, my IPsec tunnel uh, is up. So it's up and running here and you can see here um, I have traffic flowing right there's statistics flowing out the interfaces. And if I go back to look at the configuration of the device itself uh, within vManage it's all about templates. So we started with a, a template let me go back to features. We started with a uh, SIG gateway template here. And if you take a look at this, this is view. And here's just a, a template of VPN functionality configurations. Uh, the destination for the IPsec tunnel is a umbrella data center here in Northern California, 146.112 IP address. And there's just more uh, some more IPsec settings here. And this also includes the pre-share key for the tunnel authentication as well as a, a Ike ID for the tunnel uh, endpoint that terminates into the Umbrella Cloud. So this information came from the Umbrella Cloud here. So this configuration gets applied to a template and then the template gets applied over to the vEdge device. So if I go to vEdge device and you can see vEdge device here and there's the final template gets applied here. Okay. Now let's go take a look at the umbrella side of it. On the umbrella side, there's a SIG tunnel that I created. And this, uh, if I edit here, is very simple that there's the authentication or the, the uh, tunnel ID, as well as the authentication or passphrase that I configured on the other end of the vManage side. So right now the tunnel is up. And let's go ahead and take a look at our policies. If I go into policies and go into the firewall side of it, so within my uh, Umbrella Cloud Deliver Firewall, I have three simple rules. One is to block WebEx from one of my test PCs. And the second one is to block uh, ICMP for Google 8.8.8.8. And the third default rule is just to allow all of it. So it's quite simple. Okay, and these are just, uh, here's an example of my blocking ICMPs. Um, here's a name. Protocol ICMP, there's an application category with my other block role. I was block I had uh, WebEx listed down there. I'll show you here. Edit. And here is a WebEx that I am blocking. Okay. And uh, let's go over to the web policy side of it from after the firewall. Firewall forwards web traffic over to the website. So here I have a web policy called SigTunnel1 policy and here I have some general configurations for the web content filtering. I'm blocking some social media, uh, Facebook and Twitter. I'm also blocking a destination address like Disney.com as a test. Uh, I have HTTPS inspection enabled and enable simply means that I, uh, I can download a certificate right now from the Umbrella Cloud and I, and I did so already and that certificate gets installed on the client's browser so there are no untrusted pop-ups that the client browse the web here. Okay, Alright, so let's go over to the client side here and, and test. You can see here um, within my Ubuntu client I have uh, here's the Boston <laughs> Athletic website for Boston Marathon. Here are some YouTube videos. I can play this. Um, it's it's going okay, so that's working. It's fine. So the website is working, and if I go to some block sites like the Disney.com as an example that I configure by policy, that you can see here, Disney is getting blocked by the uh, secure web gateway in the Umbrella Cloud, and here's a block logo of My Little Ponies that I uploaded, and same thing with. Um, 
like Facebook or social media. If I go to Facebook, same thing, Facebook's getting blocked because by policy that I configure. So overall, this is working as design. And I can see pings to 8.8.8 .8 is getting blocked, but pings to uh, another DNS server is getting through the ICMP. They're getting through here. All right, so that's good. That's what we wanted. On the Windows client side, let's go ahead and test. I have a uh, meeting information. I have a WebEx meeting of my personal WebEx meeting going on right now. Okay, so I'm going to try to join from my test client. If I simply join with my uh, ID, I'm going to wait a moment here. You can see that it's trying to join the WebEx meeting. And within a few more seconds, you'll see that it gets a failed message. It can't join because the WebEx traffic has been blocked. But here, still, uh, the umbrella client, um, uh, the umbrella policy is blocking my Windows client from going to Google 8.8.8. .8, so pings aren't getting through. But if I try, try another address here, same thing. Uh, 68.10. Uh, 29.11. There you go, and that's working for policy here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, umbrella side of it here. From a reporting, let's go and take a look at activity search, and let's start by looking at the tunnel traffic. So let's go and select network tunnel. Everything is coming through, and let's look at cloud deliver firewall logs here. Let's see. You can see lots of uh, traffic being allowed uh, from uh, different devices. But if I focus on the blocked, we can see that uh, my client uh, from 77.101 client was trying to go to WebEx meeting and it was blocked. Right, that's by design. And same thing with all the 8.8.8.8 Google uh, pings were all being blocked as well. So that's at the firewall side. Now let's go ahead and. Uh, step back a little bit and look at all requests or um, focus on web HTTP and HTTPS apply for the network tunnel so here's an, uh, the SIG tunnel um, there's a bunch of traffic going through so my YouTube videos uh, you can see here Facebook was getting blocked as well because remember I, I did that uh, policy of blocking social media and let's just look at block traffic we can also see Disney.com was blocked. Uh, there's a Twitter <laughs> that's also blocked by policy. So this is all working. Uh, traffic going, being sent to the Cloud Deliver Firewall, and Cloud Deliver Firewall is filtering on based on its rules. And then the rest of the traffic for web, it's going over to the SWG for uh, policy inspection as well. Thanks for watching the demo.